Someone's there. That'll teach you. Where'd you come from? You make me wish I was black. That'll teach you. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Guess you want to talk? Yes, let's go. You found the Way Shrine of Radiance, Initiate. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? May the blessings of Ariel protect you as you climb the road to the inner sanctum and final enlightenment. Do you need something? Honestly, I don't think they care what a bunch of vampires would do with Ariel's bow. They're pretty focused on the past. As long as we can get this Verther out of the Sanctum, I think they'll be happy to just hand it over. May Ariel's radiance fill your heart with joy. May Ariel's radiance fill your heart with joy.
seen a building like that before. It looks like some kind of temple. Statue of Arion, but it's using the older signs of his power. This temple must be ancient. The bow has to be in here. So you're the strong silent type, huh? I bet you must love me talking to you all the time. Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? 
You've done exactly as I predicted, and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which I, I want your sorry honest to opinion. Say means your usefulness you is at an ends? end. I mean, do they look the right size to you? Where'd you come from? Stop hey, stop looking at me like that, you first. Me, I'm gone. Done and done. Where'd you come from? An impressive display, but a wasted effort. You delay nothing but your own deaths. Watch out! He's falling down the ceiling! Finish them! <laughs> Who's there? I knew I heard I something. <laughs> Die! Try again! Ah! You are stuck <laughs> Where'd you come from? The ugly over here. I'll feed your form to the betrayed. Done and done. No! I won't let you ruin centuries of preparations! I know we can. He's up there on the balcony. Come on. Enough, Werther. Give us the bow. How dare you! I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You're... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You know, sometimes I like You want to take revenge play. on a god? Like, no, not like that. Ariel like himself may have been beyond my reach, but his bottom. influence on our world wasn't. Fun. You should try it. All I needed was the blood of a vampire, and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire? Ariel's bow? It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single, final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Uh, what Where'd you come is from? This? You can't <laughs> Your 
Do you need something? So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Vertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. What? What are you talking about? A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain sun-hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Out of all the Daedric princes, Sanguine is the only one I would actually consider worshipping. He really understands how to have a good time and knows Just the importance ask. of alcohol. It's the least I, can do. I quite like Sheogorath too. It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still. It's beautiful. I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's... It's not easy. But I don't think we have much of a choice. No. This has to end here and now. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. If it's good to speak to you again. The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sun bursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance, but over the centuries I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. While it would fill me with joy to see the Chantry back to its former glory, that time has long since passed. Now that my brother's dead, it's quite possible I'm the last of our kind. There's no need for that kind of talk. I said it was possible. It's also quite possible that there are some other isolated conclaves of Snow Elves, nestled elsewhere on Nern. 
I'll also assume Vertha didn't exactly give you the option to stay your hand. For the time being, I will remain here, on the Overlook, and continue trying to keep the Sanctum free of the betrayed. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Certainly. I can only do twenty at a time, but I see that won't be a problem in this case. I'm afraid I'll need elven arrows if you want me to produce the sun-hallowed arrows. And it seems you're all out of them at the moment. What now? It sounds like... that's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. So I am. I guess we could use my blood. Do you have any arrows? Elven arrows? I'm not going to just bleed on any old thing. I think you'll need to find some arrows first. Only elven ones will work for this, remember? I don't think you can ever be ready to kill your parent. I'm doing my best to not think of him as my father anymore. We've got enough to worry about right now. You stay focused, and I'll worry about me. I'm all ears. Do I have a choice? Well, okay, but you owe me. I rather enjoyed a little... Chad. The bow. You have Aureol's bow. I've heard it described in tales, but I could never have imagined its beauty. Indeed. The day hasn't been won while Harkon still walks Tamriel. But what of Serana? Can she be trusted to lift a blade against her own kind? Her own family? I suppose that's as much as I can hope for. Let me address the Dawn Guard and then we'll be off. The men deserve to know that we finally gained the upper hand. Everyone, gather round. Come on then, we haven't got all day. to this one day. I knew, and no one believed. Keep your eyes open.
For too long, we've allowed these vampires to poison the night and kill our people. Now, we finally have the means to strike back. We now have Ariel's bow. The gods themselves have favored us, and we must answer with action. The time has come to finally put an end to Harkon and his unholy prophecy. We will march on their lair and destroy those wretched abominations so they can no longer corrupt our world. This is our fight, and this is our fate. This is the time of the Dawn God. This is it. The Dawn God. Between the eyes for me. Send the them troll after them. No it's time we take the fight to their door. Gather your things and rest well, my friend. We meet outside Castle Volgahar. Start. <laughs> <laughs> 